My name is Paul, and this is my story of making it big as a freelance social media expert in Brooklyn, New York. It's a fast world in the cloud. Blink and you'll get past. I will do whatever it takes to disrupt media as you know it and link you to the future. Paul is waiting to hear back from Todd, who's going to help him on the app that he's doing research on or something. Like, Todd, I guess, is a television savant. He watches a lot of TV, and Paul wants to recruit him to help him do, uh, like, just have, like, an insight into the, the, Paul said, like, a marathoning community. I don't know what that is. My background is really in reality TV. That's kind of my day job. So I've worked on such shows as Super Proms, Toilet Babies, you know, my kids want to eat my house. You know, you're dealing with difficult people at times and you're sort of running gunning it, but it's also a departure from that because I want this to be a much more serious show. Okay, so what is a companion app? I can't right now, hold on. Are you looking at Drake quotes? A companion app is, according to Paul, it's like this app that you use while you're watching movies or TV or whatever, uh, where trivia just like pops up on your phone while you're watching, and I guess you can like uh, answer questions. It's like kind of like this Todd's dumb in, man. internet. Oh, saddle up, pack your bags. Nice. Oh, we're going. Next stop, Bone Zone. Oh no, no, that's that's you. That's kind of your jam. No, right yeah, you, you'll be great at it. You'll love it. No, I don't want. Yeah, it's gonna be do this. Sit around 22 hours, right, drink a bunch of long necks. Don't worry, Todd's gonna do all the heavy terrible. lifting. We got this. All right, well, uh, welcome to my pad. Um, my name is Todd. Uh, I live here in this, this gorgeous one-bedroom apartment in Steichwick, Brooklyn. And uh, I guess let's just get started with the tour. This is the television. Samsung, flat screen, really great. Got two speakers. This is really what makes the bone zone the bone zone. This is where we're gonna be marathoning today. I believe I'm part of Team Todd when it comes to the marathon crew. You got Todd, who's our leader marathon expert, then you have Charlotte. If I like lean forward or back or something, or like, is it gonna mess stuff up? Uh, no. Who's seen Bones before, the only person I've ever met who has, and she has a lot of experience, knows all the nitty gritty, and she's ready to tackle it a second time. Uh, well, Bones is a procedural, it's a crime drama um, on Fox. She's a forensic anthropologist based in DC, and he is an FBI agent, and they team up to solve really grisly murders. She assesses the bones and figures out how the person was killed, and then he tracks down the killer. I mean, I've been watching it for, I guess, the last nine years or something. So you can't use that last part. I'm kind of nervous that all these cameras are gonna fuck up Todd. And he has this ritual around watching TV that everything needs to be perfect. He's got his spot, my spot. We move over here, we got my ducks, guitar, Trash can, this is uh, Eugene the platypus. I really take pride in my stylistic choices. It's very rustic, but also like super new modern. And uh, here, if I can just direct your attention right here to my, uh, my blackout blinds, those are absolutely essential. If you're gonna be watching as much TV as we're gonna be watching. Oh, uh, oh hey Paul. What's up bro? So yeah, they're a weird play. dynamic, you know, they're friends but sometimes they bump heads. This woman outside of Best Buy sneezed on me and I got paranoid about bird flu, so I had to go home and change and oh, shower and stuff. Quite all, quite so all like, right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, 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 just, uh, just bring that out to the back if you don't mind. I can't. No, come on, man, please. 
All right, so this is Paul. Paul's my uh, best friend in the entire universe. I think the stakes are high on both ends, but for Paul, it's more outside pressure. Like, he could be fired if he fails at this app. For Todd, the stakes are all personal because he holds himself to a very high standard, and to fail at this may ruin his reputation in the marathoning community. It's an endurance test. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a marathon, not a race. Welcome to the Bone Zone. This is gonna be absolutely incredible, and I'm looking forward to having a great, you know, 17, 18 hours with you guys, so enjoy. Man, where's Paul at? I don't know. He said he was going to be here in like five minutes. You want to start about him? Um, why do we need Paul? Because you don't ever leave a man behind. Uh, no, speak okay. of the devil. Long necks. Let's Show get this you. started, guys. Come on. We do not have all night. On the surface, it seems like it's going pretty well, but you can tell that like Todd's starting to get annoyed at Paul. It seems like Todd wants to watch the show a little more, and you know, Paul is more about just having a good time. The is food's gonna it? be here any second. Where are yeah, you going? This is the correct address. Is he? Just hang uh, back. Let me do all the talking. Oh, come on, Ross, you finished? Well, Ross uses the bathroom a lot. Like it's it's really really weird and at inopportune times. And so you know you have to pace yourself. So I'm about four or five cups of coffee in and uh, feeling pretty good. They're both so just like sufficiently attractive. <laughs> I think Booth and Bones are gonna enter the bone zone any scene. Like, I don't know when it can happen, but I always think it should happen. And it's gonna be explosive when it does. Five, four, three, two, one, bones! <laughs> I'm falling asleep. You want a snack? Yeah. Do you have any Chobani? Uh, Chobani. I don't see any. Yeah. Saw some next to the fruit by the foot. There's spicy, smoky peach salsa. Mm. I'm a mild guy, you know that. Yeah, no, I'll look for something else. Palette. Fire roasted tomato, is that? Yeah, fire. Hey, come on, mild. just pick the salsa. It's, uh, what? Is it mild fire? It doesn't say what kind of fire they use. Okay. Hummus? Whoa. Yeah, it's a litany of hummus. Oh my God. Got roasted red pepper, chipotle pepper, and organic. Oh, well, we had organic. Butter uh, hummus fingers. Come on, man. Am I right? I'll nice pick it up one. tomorrow. It'll, it'll get cleaned. Look, I don't even care about the mess. I'm just trying to watch bones. Hello? Wait, what? Oh, fuck, you're right. Um, I completely fucked up. Ryan's cat hasn't eaten in two days. I gotta, I gotta go do this. Just, yeah, yeah, just take notes for me. I'll be back in a second. It'll be real quick. She lives like, you know, Upper West Side. All 
All right, back to bones. Back to bones. I was never afraid of that guy. And I'm not doing this because you're a genius. I'm doing this for Cleo. I think it's not a great thing that Paul took off at this point because we're actually not that far in and we have a long ways to go. So I kind of need the energy back. Lost my focus. You know, it's really dialed in and I've just been out here now okay, for the past, like, just, two... Can we just roll up these sleeves right now? Because it's supposed to be hot. So I, like, turn around a little bit. Take a step uh, a little bit forward. Okay. And uh, right, a little bit, right, a little bit right. to your left. You're moving too much when you answer it. I'm done. I, I think we got it. Great. Bones. <sighs> Maybe like bones is like a metaphor for something greater, you know? You know what I mean? You're like, so right, man. Yeah, like they uncover these bones. And at the same time, like, we uncover a part of ourselves via that on-camera experience. And, uh... Oh, you're so right, man. No, I know, like, sh I know I'm right. Like, I wasn't done. And there's a skeleton that, in turn, becomes the American experience. I think you might be reaching a little bit, man. I, uh, I've been out. Have you, have you gone outside yet? So nice out there. I have been watching Bones after Bones for your stupid app. Wait, you've seriously just been watching Bones all day? Haven't you gotten a feel for it yet? Of course I've got a feel for it. But it's like, you know, we're only 11 episodes in and you know, you missed like three of them when you were gone. Yeah, but I know what's happening. It's basically just like a buddy cop situation. Workplace deal, but the only thing is their workplace is solving murders. I mean, yeah, okay, fine. It's 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 a buddy cop, but it's also got elements of a procedural in it. And I was thinking, you know, like there's this episode of the X Files that totally reminds Listen, me. Listen, you're taking this way too seriously. I went on Wikipedia earlier, and see this? It's got everything. We know the characters. We know their names. That's enough for us. Do you know that in season seven they have a kid together? How nuts is? Whoa! What the hell's wrong with you? What are you doing? What the fuck, man? Stop! Oh. I think the holiday season's pretty fun. You know, there's always something like a little bit more magical about the Christmas episode. Come on. There's, there you are. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, they're resolving it. Fuck you, dickhole. I'm out of here. All right, you know what? I'm done. We're done. Yeah, we are yeah. done. Bye. Go! That was great. You think we could get an exit interview with them? Shit. What are you what are you guys doing here? Everybody just get out of my apartment. It's the Christmas episode. Get what? out! Whatever, dude. No, don't, don't worry about the dishes. Get out! That was weird.
Get out of here. You too, get out. 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 I mean, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm not intrigued and like curious about how shit develops. Booth and Bones are finally getting that, you know, firecracker relationship on. A lot of chemistry. Yeah. And then, then Todd came in and just scrooged the whole thing. Yeah. Really scrooged it. Todd! Oh, nothing new up here. Well, nothing brings people together like a Christmas lung fungus. He's not picking up his phone. Yeah. I've been calling Paul, I've been calling Todd. Get over there, but then you have to get over another one, so. Oh, geez. I think that you could do it. I think you just need to, I, I just think you need to. Um... We, we didn't get insurance for this because we were trying to save money. Yeah, uh, do you have health insurance? Should I call Yeah, try one more time, try one more time and see if you can get it. Hi Todd, this is Liz. I'm with Jason and we're in your backyard. I don't know what you think we're gonna do here all night, but you need to let us back in your house. Give me a call back. All right, thanks, bye. Wow. What if we just like called the cops on him? <laughs> yeah, we call the cops. That's not the worst idea. Goodman has ordered me to investigate the other extra body. Well, then you better get on that. Next time, you know, you miss me, pick up the phone, call me. We'll do lunch or something. I do not miss you. Miss Come on. I do not say it. Miss Agent Booth. You have a visitor. I want to ask you a favor. Oh, jeez. Another favor. I wonder if you wouldn't mind taking a look at this. You'd do it for me. Yeah, I would. You know, I think they fight since they care about each other. You know? Hey, uh, no hard feelings, guys. You want to come in and have a beer? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Well, uh, hurry up. We're in episodes. I mean, I got, we still have some stuff to get with you, but... Hello? Gotcha. Voicemail. Leave it. Hey, Paul. It's, uh, it's me, Todd. Look, man, I just wanted to call and say sorry. I've still been watching Bones, so, you know, I could probably still really help you out with that app. Actually, I had a couple ideas for some things that could be kind of cool, so if you could just come over, you know, we can sit down, we'll talk, have some long necks. Someone say long necks? Oh. Hey, you guys really shouldn't leave those doors unlocked. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Yeah. All right, enough of this. Let's watch some Bones. Let's watch some Bones. Agent Booth. Mary Tepper, meet Dr. Temperance Brennan from Jeffersonian. I've read her. Hello. She's good. Oh! Yeah, yeah, you see, you see that. Oh! Oh! <laughs>
All right, we just finished episode 18, and I am pumped. That was the most like action-packed episode we've watched yet. Yeah, I guess that I do see a little bit of Bones and Booth in us, and that I realize that they can pull it together and solve a murder, then the two of us can sit down on a couch and drink some long necks and it's true. pump out an app. Bullet holes? You single out the ones that came from Lefford's weapons. Then that's what I'll do. Shut the hell up. Said that you okayed the tissue marker. No, that can't be right. Hey, man, what if, uh, what if we did something with the hologram? I shot Kent that night. Full participation in the case. I want you to get federal on the task. I'm FBI. I know who you are. No one to four. You will never know what happened to your father. We gotta do something like that with the app because it's this is moment. You know, you care so much about bones. Why couldn't we walk up the path? Why do you have to take the stairs? It's good for your heart rate, man. Whatever. All right, man. All I have to do is push send. All right, let's We're do it. We're done with it. All right. Here it goes. Done. Congratulations. You know what? Besides for the physical assault, we make a pretty good team. True. All right, so what do you think of Knox? Oh, man, well, there's, there's Monk, there's Law and Order. Monk, there's... that's like about a priest? No, it's about this detective, and he's got obsessive compulsive disorder, and, you know, he does really funny things while he solves mysteries for the San Francisco Police Department. San Francisco? Yeah. I heard that there's a bunch of hippies out there. Oh, no, everybody's out there just monking around. Oh.